Welcome back to Math Window. Solve the positive internet solutions of this equation. 1 over x, then plus 1 over y is equal to 1 fifth. How should we solve it? x and y are both on the denominators, and they are both positive integers. Since the left hand side is a cyclic symmetry formula, and then I'm going to sort x and y. Now, suppose x is greater or equal to y. Because they're both positive integers, and then we can get 1 over x is smaller or equal to 1 over y. So now, we got this inequality. So we let x is greater or equal to y, and then we can get 1 over x is smaller or equal to 1 over y. Rewrite this equation. 1 over 5 is equal to 1 over x and then plus 1 over y because 1 over x is smaller or equal to 1 over y. So it can be written as smaller or equal to this 1 over y and this. Don't change it. 1 fifth is smaller or equal to 2 over y. Now we can solve this inequality. 2 over y is greater or equal to 1 over 5. And then multiply by 5 on the both sides, then 1 over y is greater or equal to 10 because y is a positive integer. So now you can get the maximum value of y is 10. That means y is smaller or equal to 10. x can be written as a formula of y. Let's do this, because x and y are both on the denominator, and 5 also. So now, I'm going to multiply by 5 times x times y on the both sides. And you can see what will happen. Now, 5xy then times 1 over x, it is 5y, I'll write it here. And then plus this, it will become 5x. 5xy then times 1 over 5, it will become x and times y. Okay, how wonderful it is. Now, remove this x times y from the right hand side and move it to the left hand side. So, 5y then plus 5x then minus xy is equal to 0. Now, x, x. So, 5y and then plus x times bracket 5 minus y is equal to 0. And now, I'm going to subtract 5y on the both sides. And then, divide it by 5 minus y on the both sides. It's very ugly, isn't it? Here appears a negative sign. So, now, I'm going to... Put this negative sign on the denominator. So it will become y minus 5. So x is equal to 5 times y and then divided by y minus 5. If you want, you can also write it as 5 and then times y divided by y minus 5. I don't know if you noticed. Because x and y are both positive integers, y is positive integer. And x is also a positive integer. So 5 times y and all divided by y minus 5. It is a positive integer. Because 5 is also a positive integer. So y divided by y minus 5 is also a positive integer. Since y is always a positive integer, and y divided by y minus 5 is also a positive integer. So y minus 5 is a positive integer. Then we can get y minus 5 is greater or equal to 1. You can get 
y is greater or equal to 6. Under this case, x is greater or equal to y. We have y is greater or equal to 6, and it is also smaller or equal to 10. So now, how many cases does it have? How many cases are there? Y can be equal to 6, 7, 8, 9, and the maximum value of Y is 10. When Y is 6, substitute it in. Then you can get the value of X. 6 divided by 6 minus 5, it is 6 divided by 1, it is 6. So X is 5, then times 6, it is 30. When y is 7, no positive internet solutions. 8, no. 9, also. There aren't any. When y is equal to 10 and x is equal to 10 divided by 5 and then times 5, it will become 10. So under this case, x and y, there are two cases. But... Because the left side is cyclic symmetry formula, and then x can also be smaller or equal to y. So x can also be 6, y is 30. But y is 10, x is 10. In this case, y and x, they have the same value. So you don't have to write it again. So 30, 6, or 6, 30 or 10 10 so you get it and don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel for more videos and we'll see you next time bye bye